uh, video three in the cable tie series. Uh, this could be the last video in the series because I sussed out how to tie the single loop figure eight knot basically to cable tie looms and stuff using lacing cord, wax cotton or wax PVC or nylon coated PVC or polyester and uh, there's basically three method methods I'd like to show, share with you and uh, I'll show you those three methods they're all acceptable some are slightly better than others but they're all based around the figure eight knot and it's really simple and I don't know why there's such a myth about it on the internet none of them are the methods that we used at the aerospace industry to tie single loop cable ties which I can't remember but I'm still working on trying to suss it out but uh, all of these are a hundred times better than the, the marlin knot which is basically a half hitch or what you tie your shoelaces with or what we used to call the granny knot so anyway let's have a look at these three methods and uh, you can try it out for yourself and decide which one you like best So I'm using the front camera on the iPhone now and I'm going to have to prop it up so you can see what I'm talking about. Okay, there's three methods. First method, they're all based on uh, slight variations of the figure eight knot by the way. First method is you go around the loom, go underneath underneath the tie just pull it through like that so you've got a basic underneath and then you go back on itself so you form a little loop and then you come down underneath the loop that goes around your loom so if you pull it out, or just loosen it off a bit, you can see the uh, basic figure eight configuration. And then you just tie that down, cinch it up, tighten it. And it makes uh, quite a nice single loop when it's quite, quite reasonably tied. It's not super tight certainly better than the marlin knot that NASA uses and none of these methods are the one I used to use at the aerospace industry which I can't remember but I'm trying to work out and uh, let's just do that once more so we go around the loom underneath just pull it through go back on itself so you're forming a little loop then underneath the first loop just loosen it off again so you can see that figure 8 configuration and just tighten it down this one doesn't tighten down very hard it's just kind of a running stitch that locks down on itself but it does quite a nice job keeps it neat like I say it's not particularly tight going to name these at the end. I think this one I was going to call the Celtic Hitch, which is basically a single variation of the figure eight. And the reason I called it the Celtic Hitch, if you look closely at the way the wire wraps around it makes like a kind of a Celtic cross. So anyway, that's my name I invented. I'll patent that. Today is still the 14th Still the 14th of May 2017, the Celtic Hitch. Now I'll show you the other two. Okay, so this is the second method. I haven't uh, sussed out what to call it yet. It's still based on the figure eight, but it cinches down tighter and makes a more secure tie than the first method I showed you. So uh, let's just show you that one quick. This is method two. Basically you go around 
the cable like before. In fact, if I go around, go around towards me, just makes me. You can do it either way. You can start either way. It depends which way you like suits you better. What handed you are and stuff. And you are wrapped towards me. This time you go over the cable, not not under it like before. You go over it, and then you go. Then you go under it. So you're doing a double wrap around the cable and then you come across and under the loop on the same side I'll show you this a couple of times because it's not it's not making it easy to show you on camera because when you're filming it's, uh, it's all fingers and thumbs isn't it So if I show you, if I slacken it off and show you the knot again, you can see you've got the basic figure eight configuration, but this time you've looped around the tie coming down. So when you tighten it up, you've got a nice cable tie. Let me uh, undo that one and show you it again. I'll undo both of these. So I've got a bit more room on my pencil. Obviously, if you're doing cable ties, you'd be doing it on a loom of cables. But basically, you can wrap either way. So this time I'll wrap away from me. Over the top this time. And then back around the original tie. And the side you come out tuck under the opposite side so that side you just make the basic figure 8 configuration tightens down nice cable tie and the run is uh, flat to the loom so let's just do that once more I'll try and do it a bit quicker so I'm going to wrap over around the tie to form the top of the figure 8 loop and then the side it comes out tuck it under the opposite side just cinch it down so it's nice and tight It's, uh, I'm using flat shoelace so it stands out a bit. Obviously, if you had a lacing cord and it's round, then it wouldn't be a problem, would it? It's only where the um, shoelace gets a bit twisted, it's standing up, otherwise, it'd be reasonably flat. So let's just do that once more. Make sure you fully got it. So I'm going once around over the top of the tie back underneath it and then the side it comes out you go underneath the original loop on the opposite side let's just show you what the um, figure 8 configuration looks like if you look at the tie before we tie it down, you can see I've got a figure eight, basically. And then you just tie it down. And that's method two. That's just a basic figure eight. I haven't, I haven't thought of a name for this one yet. But I'll show you method three, and that's the best method of all of them, because that's really tight. It's still only a single loop configuration. It's still based on the figure eight. Uh, method three, which is the best, most tight method of cable tying with a single loop that I've discovered so far anyway, is I'm going to name the Todd, the Todd Hitch, because that was my mum's dog's name. He passed away recently and he was the best puppy ever. Okay, so method three 
This is the best method with a single loop cable tie, uh, lacing cable, cord, whatever you want to call it. Um, basically, you go around the loom, or in my case the pencil, and instead of going over this time you go under. under the original tie so you can double check that you've uh, done it right because you'll get a little lock on there look and then you go around the get round the straight bit of the tie again forming the loop so this time you're forming the top part of the figure eight loop around the tie itself and then it's simply a case of coming back under and that's the bottom part of the figure eight so if you look at it I'll just pull some through so you can see it you've got the figure eight configuration again but the top loop this time is going around the cord and you just pull that one down tight and if you get it if you get it right you should get a nice little kind of knot that goes either way and the cord comes out the middle at the bottom kind of like spreading a pair of legs sorry that's just my analogy anyway let me do that again for you so go around underneath the loop this time so you start with that kind of thing then you go around again Oops. So you've got the the first loop going around the cord, and then you just tuck it back down through the original loop. Tie it. If it's all over the place, it's because I'm looking at the the loop and not the camera. Sorry about that. Anyway, just tighten it down again. You get that nice configuration. Same with the first one. Look. That's called the Todd Hitch, by the way. Spelled T O D D, in case you were wondering. So let me just move that up there. Do one more for you. In case the last one didn't come out very good on camera. So we go once around underneath. So you start like that, you go around the tie again, underneath, so you've got your top loop of your figure eight, and then you just come down underneath the original loop, tighten it up. Well, that one's got twisted. I've done something wrong looking at the camera rather than looking at the knot. So let me do it again. Bonus one. So you go around the loom underneath, back around the loom again, underneath, and then just back under the original loop. And there you have it. It's nice and flat to the loom. It's very tight, very secure. It only goes around once, so it's quick. It uses less cable tie. But it's uh, it's a thousand times better than the Marlin hitch. And that one's called the Todd hitch. So, so anyway, that's my little video. And uh, those are the three methods of tying single loop cable ties using lacing cord and uh, there is another method that we used to use at the aerospace industry but I'm still trying to work out trying to remember how we did it there but any of those methods I've shown you in the previous two videos and in this video will work perfectly well in fact very well 
much better than anything NASA will throw at you. Uh, if you like the video, please subscribe and hit the like button and uh, love to hear your comments, have a little conversation with you. And if you need any help, just uh, ask and I'll show you again. Right, that's my little video. Thanks very much for helping. Thanks for your support and thanks very much for watching. Have a great day. Just woke up, so uh, mincing my words a bit, leaning forward, talking to the microphone. Bye. Okay, guys, so what you need to do to get your name featured in the next video is to choose a name for the hitch in method two. And the name I like best, or a name I choose at random, if there's lots of them, I will... Uh, name method two after the name you choose and then that will become the famous hitch name and uh, so get choosing and we'll pick a name for method two that's my video see you in the next one